But are the Yankees thinking the same way the fans are? The fans are all thinking, we need another starting pitcher. We need to help this re rotation. Forget that we're winning this division. If we're going to beat Houston, if we're going to beat the Dodgers in the World Series, we need pitching. Yeah. Are the Yankees thinking that way? Because they passed on Keuchel. They could have gave Corbin the extra year um, during the offseason. Didn't do it. Or are they looking at, listen, come playoffs? We're not going to be asking our starters to go that deep anyway. What good would be to go get some guy that can go eight brilliant innings when the first time they put somebody in scoring position in the fourth, we're going to be taking them out and going to our bullpen. They're itching to go to this bullpen, Alan. I'm wondering, I, do they think they're going to give yes. up and invest uh, part of their future to go out and get a starting pitcher that they're probably not going to ask go the more four, four innings in the postseason anyway? I think this is the point where they probably felt over the winter – because you didn't know Severino was going to get hurt. You had no idea about Severino, remember, right? So you're thinking you got Severino coming off the injury, a bad second half, but you're figuring he's, he's going to go back to being that guy we saw the second half, the first half of last year where he was a Cy Young candidate. He was an all-star. He was great. So you had that on top of Tanaka. That's your one and two. For the most part, you only need two. Paxton was supposed to kind of be that third guy. Hap fills it out and then CeCe. You thought, perfect, sets it up. Nobody thought Domingo Herman was going to be part of the rotation. And, oh, my God, what a hero he was in the first half going, what, 9-1? and one? Yeah. So that you got lucky with that one just like you got lucky with Urshela and everything else. But that's why Corbin, I think, you understood why they went there. We have Severino with Tanaka. We shouldn't have to overpay. Keuchel is spin rate on the decline. Does he really fit what we need? You know, kind of still believed in Paxton. You thought, you know, he'll get over the knee thing. He'll be fine. We'll get through this. And they ended up getting, I guess they got outbid is how that worked out, which is very bizarre. So you don't get him, but you didn't see a lot of, it. almost there wasn't a lot of urgency to get Kai. No. Now there's urgency. Well, you, now it's you, official. If you think so, the fans think so, but do the Yankees yes. think so? Well, why, why would Cashman come out and actually tell us that starting pitching is something that they're looking for? Well, if he if he's not lying, no, no, everybody, everybody's he's looking for starting pitching. Yeah, all right, but I don't know if he's sitting there desperate where he's going to give up the farm for it because everybody wants starting pitching. Well, that's the right? question. Do, do you look at Stroman, who is a guy that's that's he's pitched in the postseason before, yeah. not well, but he's pitched in the postseason before. He gets right handers out. He's from New York. He, he looks like that's a guy that you'd want to go after. To me, well, that's so a Minnesota. Good one. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a bidding war for him, and I could see the Yankees going the same way they did with Keuchel, where they showed interest. Same thing with Corbin, where they showed interest, but in the 11th hour, they weren't willing to go the Here's extra the mile. Question. So, the, But you see, yeah, he still was interested in starting pitching. They went out and got Paxton, right? But you know what? They wanted Corbin, but, but they didn't want to was, give him the extra year. They wanted, easier to get. They wanted Keuchel, but they didn't want to go the extra money. Okay. So I think they're interested, but Minnesota, who hasn't won anything since 1991, it, they're going to go the extra mile mm -hmm. to get that pitcher. I don't think the Yankees are going to try to outbid Minnesota. I think they're going to try, and then they're going to go, well, listen, our analytics tell us that guy's not worth all these prospects, and they're not going to make the you deal. You reach I'm a point you. as a franchise where it becomes winning time. Where when you're building, like two years ago, you know, they did the Sonny Gray thing. They were a younger team. That run that they had was, I'm not going to say, it wasn't, was it a surprise? I mean, getting to game seven of ALCS with a team like that, that, that younger group, you know, that was fun. All right. Last year felt like a stagnant year. Right. And it was sort of like trying to figure out who they are. This year became, it's go for it time. Okay. It's time. Because everybody's still under control. Your big star players are still somewhat under control. You don't have to pay a ton of guys here, right? Judge, Sanchez, all those guys still somewhat under control. This would be the time then to be all in and go for it. This is the go for it year. So this to me would be the deadline where you go for it. It has to be. You know, if, if, uh, if, if a pitcher's out there like Noah Syndergaard and the Astros want him and you want him and the Astros are willing to pay something and you're not, and he's the difference in just, all it is is one game in a series. All it takes is that one game in a series. And if he's that difference in that one game, and it costs you getting the World Series, that prospect you wouldn't give up, or that player you wouldn't give up, had better turn into a superstar. Otherwise, that's on your hands. Right. And look, Gone in 60 Seconds is one of my favorite movies. And I've made this reference many times. For Brian Cashman, it's been 10 years. Starting a, finding a starting pitcher that's going to be a difference maker. They've had a couple of good, good ones. But I mean a difference maker, that's his Eleanor. Every time he's tried, it has failed. Something has gone wrong. Every time you go for it, it's like, all right, that's, a, you know, again, Sonny Gray seemed like that, was a, that made sense. There's been times he's gone for pitchers, and it's all made sense, and it doesn't work out. It's been his Eleanor. 
And this is something that I think will, he'll carry with him. He's not perfect, but no, this is not. the one thing. If he can find a starting right. pitcher this time around, it could be the difference between winning a championship and not. And I think you're absolutely right. But why do I feel like Brian Cashman and the Yankees aren't thinking the same way? I, I don't understand what, what that question means. I mean, I, the, you, you just say else? it's winning time. What They've else got to go out and looking, get it. What else what, are they looking for? I, what are I they know, holding I, on you're, to? You're missing my point. They are looking for a starting pitcher. But you're saying they're all in. So no, if, you have to be all in. If, if Minnesota is going to give that extra prospect because they, if they want Stroman, then if the Yankees want Stroman, they're going to have to give up that extra. They can't lose it. Why do I feel like they put a budget on everybody, either financially or prospect-wise? And if it exceeds that budget, they're not budging. I just, I, that's the way it went with Corbin. Listen, they were, they, they were all in this year. It was winning time, yeah. right? You knew. Severino, they but didn't know Severino was going to get hurt, but Severino was awful in the second half of the I year. I already explained it, though. Corbin would have been excessive if you didn't have the injuries you had.